Hey everyone, welcome to RCV Academy. Today we are introducing another course on Jira Roadmap. Now Jira Roadmap is a very important feature within Jira software that you can utilize to successfully deliver and track the progress of the project within the team or across multiple teams within the portfolio. Jira Roadmap comes in different flavors, Jira Basic Roadmap and Jira Advanced Roadmap. And as part of this training, I'll be covering from the Jira Basic Roadmap and then we'll be going through to the Advanced Roadmap and how you can use Advanced Roadmap at the enterprise level to manage work across multiple teams and successfully deliver the work and track the work and how it progresses. Jira Roadmap provides a lot of good functionalities and features which will be absolutely helpful for the work within your teams and across multiple teams. So we'll get all those details in this particular course and training. So let's get started. My name is Manish Verma and I am certified Jira project administrator and I have been using Jira for more than eight years now. So before we proceed further, I would like to mention that this video is sponsored by Jexo an innovative company that builds work planning apps for Jira Cloud, such as Foxly, a plug and play prioritization and planning app which is designed to take the guesswork out of the prioritization so that every backlog item counts. Check the link or description below for more on Foxley. Thank you. So let's go ahead and see what are the course contents that I'll be covering as part of this course. So in terms of course contents, we'll be starting from the introduction. What exactly is Jira Roadmap? Why is it used for and how you can use it? So we'll start from very basic introduction so that even if you're not aware of anything about Jira Roadmap, you will be able to know what exactly it is and how you can use it. We'll then start with the Jira basic roadmap, which is very important to get a hold of Jira roadmap, what exactly, what features are available in the basic roadmap and how you can use basic roadmap to plan the work at the team level and deliver it successfully and see what are the bottlenecks in case you are a scrum master on any of the project and you want to use roadmap, it will be really helpful for you to track the progress of the work and see how things are progressing overall and where the bottlenecks or the blockers are using the dependencies etc. So we'll start with basic roadmap and cover everything that is required for you to manage the team level work with the basic roadmap. Then we'll go ahead with the advanced roadmap and we'll understand how you can use advanced roadmap to plan at a multi-team level or at the portfolio level where you have multiple teams working toward a particular goal or project. So we'll understand all of that in the advanced roadmap section. Now let's go ahead and see what exactly is Jira roadmap. So Jira roadmaps help in long-term planning and we know that long-term planning is very challenging in the project. So when you are planning for three to six months down the line, it becomes really challenging to see how the work is progressing in those three months or what needs to be done. So basically at the high level, you know what work needs to be done, but then how you plan it and then manage the dependencies, how the work is being progressed within those three to six months, it becomes really challenging if you are just managing your task within the spreadsheet or not having a tool that helps you to visualize all of that at one place and Jira Roadmap is the tool that will help you to visualize all of that long-term planning that you need to do for your team or project or at the portfolio level very easily and will show you all the details visually within Jira itself, right? So that's what a high-level Jira Roadmap is all about. It helps you to achieve long-term planning or help you in long-term planning of the project. There are two types as I have discussed in the previous slide as well, the Jira basic roadmap and advanced roadmap. Now basic roadmap comes with the free version of Jira cloud as well. So basically Jira cloud when you sign up it's free for up to 10 users and there are certain conditions there and a Jira basic roadmap is also available or part of it. Now basic roadmap are the team level 
So when a team creates a project themselves, they can enable a roadmap, basic roadmap and use it for the team level tracking or the large piece of work within the team. Say, for example, there is a team A who wants to deliver a project or a piece of work that spans for three to six months. They can use the basic roadmap to deliver that piece of work and manage that piece of work within the team using the basic roadmap. Now, moving to the advanced roadmap, advanced roadmap helps you to achieve or plan and track work across multiple teams and multiple projects. So advanced roadmap is available as part of the premium subscription in Jira Cloud. So you have to be a premium customer of Jira Cloud to get access to the advanced roadmap. But advanced roadmap provides a lot of advanced features or the features which will help you to track the long term planning across multiple teams and projects. So if you are a big enterprise, obviously you will you will be having the paid instance or paid version of the Jira Cloud. So you'll be getting the Jira advanced roadmap as well and will cover how you can use Jira advanced roadmap to plan at the portfolio level and plan for multiple teams and projects. So this is brief about the Jira roadmap introduction. Now let's go ahead to the Jira website quickly and see some of the comparison between the Jira basic roadmap and Jira advanced roadmap. So this is the Atlassian website and we know that we are here in the Jira software and here we'll see that within Jira software you will have this roadmaps available right. So if you see the website here so roadmaps keep your teams and organization in sync with roadmapping software built to help you release more predictably and stay on target to achieve your goals right so you if you see this particular screen here this is how the roadmap screen will look like and we'll understand all of it in the upcoming tutorial how you will plan how you will see the overall uh, progress and how the dependencies are all of that will be covered if you scroll a little bit down here you will see the differences between the basic and advanced roadmap that i have discussed so if you want to check the differences in the basic what all level that you see it's basically at the team's progress advanced is more of a company-wide initiatives that you can track at the advanced level then you can track at the uh, the big picture so you can see the differences in the basic and advanced so advanced roadmap allows you to making or, or planning across the multiple teams basic is only for a single team similarly dependencies if you'll see that basic you can visualize dependencies within your team right but in advanced you can visualize dependencies across the teams and projects so that's the basic difference and there are few features which are only available in the advanced roadmap so for example if you want to plan with the team capacity in the mind right so say for example you are planning at the sprint level or sprint how much capacity is there for your sprint and then how much planning or how many points you have allocated for that sprint so that visual details will be available with the advanced roadmap only then moving on you will you can envision different you know what if scenarios as well so best case worst case so all of these are available in the advanced roadmap which is very helpful for the enterprise level planning so you can read more details here but these are some of the key features of the basic roadmap and the advanced roadmap and how the advanced roadmap will help you to do the enterprise level planning and basic roadmap is more of a team level so if you're a small team basic roadmap will be absolutely perfect for you so you do not need to go ahead for the advanced roadmap if you're a very small team if you are an enterprise and you want to track across multiple projects and multiple teams you need to go for advanced roadmap so that you can get the full power of roadmap and use it for the successful delivery and management of the long-term planning and delivery of your projects so that's all for this tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching